Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be doing the part two of the inventory review that I did yesterday and uh, there's a few things I wanted to also catch up on since that video came out. So the first one is the Sing for Skins competition that's going to be a very entertaining and very funny video. If you want to be entered in that, if you're interested in winning some skins and going into a server and singing for a panel of judges like American Idol but in CSGO, then uh, go ahead and join the Discord server and I'll be opening up applications once this video goes live. And guys, yesterday I went ahead and opened up a poll in the Discord server that you guys could vote on if you wanted to see a live inventory reviews on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to get some of that worked out and I'm going to be doing lives on YouTube probably pretty soon and doing some inventory reviews live on there. So if you want your inventory reviewed, make sure you go check it out on that live stream and I can do yours live for everybody to see. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the next inventory is going to be Nabo from Brazil. All right, let's check out his inventory. So he has a skeleton knife vanilla. Uh, it's fetching the information for it, so I'll move on. And then he has a bunch of the straight up materials, it looks like. And maybe he did a small case unboxing here. Then he has a minimal wear SG colony, an AUG Navy Murano, a Baroque purple. Here we go. There's a Baroque purple in minimal wear condition. He has an agent. And then he has a Desert Eagle Blaze. Wow, really nice skin there. A AK Hydroponic Field Test Condition. Also still fetching all the data on these. Desert Eagle Emerald Jorman Gunder. Op Containment Breach. A Virtus Pro Dreamhack 2014. Very nice sticker here. I don't think it's as good as the Fanatic sticker, but it is still very nice as a holo. He has an M4 Emperor Minimal Wear. A Chameleon Minimal Wear. A few green skins there. Looks like a lot of a green loadout. An MT9 Hydra. A PWDC Later. He has some specialist gloves, Emerald Web. He has a sticker capsule too. A lot of Spectrum cases it looks like. Those are all those are really solid. Spectrum cases have been doing great recently. It's a really, really solid option here. He does have a Furia Hollow, another sticker capsule sticker capsule too. He does have a Dragon Lore foil, a couple of them. Three of them. He has a lot more green stickers. He has some Team Spirit hollows, I believe he did ask me about these. And then he has nothing else after that. Just some random junk. Okay, so he asked me about the Team Spirit Hollow and Cato 19. He said, do, do, what do I think about them? Do I think they're a good, solid investment? I do think these look very, very nice. The thing with Team Spirit is that they can always be invited to a major. They're not really a one-off team. I think they have a lot of opportunities to be invited to majors in the future, which can obviously affect the price of these things. I would say they're not the safest investment, but they do look good, I admit, and uh, I do think a lot of people think pretty highly of these as well in terms of a green sticker, and uh, they're not the worst investment you can make. They're for definitely very solid. Then he also has this Nuclear Garden. This is the 2018 Nuke Collection. A uh, pretty solid skin here. He has a USP Overgrowth. Almost missed that. One of the older uh, USP skins. Minimal Wear. Uh, great one here as well. Bravo Collection, of course. He has an Op Atheris. Uh, the Figure Hollows, I really like those ones. I think those are just going to do solid in the future. Figure did not get invited to the Rio Major. They haven't yet, at least. And so I think this is a solid option here. Then he has the Sticker Capsule 2s, of course, which are going to just be great going forward. Those are just going to keep rising with the crown foil inside of them. Spectrum Cases, great option. Those are just going to keep going up as well. Uh, really awesome inventory, actually, overall. Specialist, you know, the Specialist Gloves, Emerald Web, nothing too crazy there. Galil Cerberus, if they ever come out with a new cash collection, which it looks like they may not be doing that. Uh, but if they do, could happen. Uh, they have a Desert Eagle Blaze, very, very good skin, very, very popular skin as well. That can do very, very solid. He also has an, uh, actually has a few more of these. I guess I missed them before. But uh, yeah, all these DreamHack stickers, very, very good ones. Especially this uh, Team Dignitas one. Another Fury Hollow, of course. Got the Desert Eagle Emerald German Gunder. Another one of those big three skins. And then he has an Aiki Hydroponic. Again, very, very great investment. And the Skeleton Knife, which I would say probably the worst investment is in his entire inventory. But I guess it's not bad overall. It does look very cool in game, I guess. And so with that being said, that's about all of his inventory. I would say overall, he actually has a lot of really good investment skins, but the Skeleton Knife is going to bring his score down, so I would go ahead and give him a 6.5 out of 10. He does have, of course, the Furia Hollows, the nice Dreamhack stickers, the Desert Eagle Emerald Jorman Gunder, the Blaze, you know, a nice, nice bit of skins here. All the Spectrum cases, of course, very good as well. Um, I would say if I were him, I would maybe fill out the Spectrum cases a little bit more, get a few more of them. Uh, the Sticker Capsule 2s, I would maybe go ahead and just hold on to them, actually. I don't think you can get any more. These Dragon Lord Foils, I guess, are good if you're trying to predict the case to be discontinued, but I don't think that'll happen. Um, he also, by the way, just real quick, he has some Dick Stacy Foils. 
These are never going to be bad. These are Dick Stacy's obviously having some problems with the game. So I think these can go up even more from what they were already previously at. There are also foils, which is a really good middle ground. So you can make some money off of those as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next inventory. All right, guys, the next inventory here is going to be Look from Australia, another person in my Discord server, of course. He has 132 items on Dota. Are these any of these uh, like nice little fractals or pure items from Dota? No, it doesn't look like it, just regular Dota items. Uh, on to his actual inventory. So he has a broke purple here. He has some candy apples, factory new. He has two Negev Mjolners. You never see those. Really, really awesome skins there. He has a G3 Violet Murano from the Canals Connect Collection. He has some P90 Astral Drum and Gunders, three of them. He has a Stat Trek AK47 Case Hard and Factory New. He did mention this one. I'm going to go ahead and check it out in game. Yeah, so it appears to be about probably a tier 2 blue gem. So, really nice thing there. <laughs> really great AK. Stat Trek Factory New, of course, super expensive. Moving on from there, we do have a Huntsman Fade Factory New. Let's go check that fade percentage. All right, so the Huntsman appears to have a pretty good fade percentage. I'd say this is at least above 90. I don't think it's 100%. I think the 100% have more purple. Uh, but I definitely think this is above 90, so solid fade percentage on that Huntsman fade. Next says a factory new AK case hardened. This appears to be probably a tier 2. Doesn't look like it wraps all the way up to the top, so it might not be a tier 2, but it's definitely close. So solid AK there as well. Uh, he has quite a lot of copper bores. These are from the Norse collection, all factory new. Pretty nice. Uh, has a few frost bores, also from the Norse collection, of course. And then he has, he actually he's put a lot of, a lot of money into this new collection. I would say that he's done a little bit of a different thing here. Um, he does have some webstuck hollows, which are really great. Gold web foil, of course. Uh, you know, some more factory new candy apples. And yeah, overall, this guy has a really kind of, he has sort of what I would call an alternative investment inventory. So basically, it's not exactly like the on-market investments. He didn't go with like, you know, the Desert Eagle Armor Drummer Gunder here. Um, this, I think, is pretty on market. Uh, these are a little bit off market. These you'd usually go with the Broke Purples instead in factory new condition instead of the Candy Apples, but they are cheaper, of course. So he does have a lot of really strong investments here. They're just kind of alternative investments, uh, which is a good option. You know, they're a bit safer than, you know, the on term, on market investments because these are all going to rise, obviously. They're all from the collection. They are all factory new. These are really nice copper bores. He does have some nice frost bores as well. You know, all, overall, like a lot of really good investments from the new collection, from the new Shattered Web operation. Um, but overall, you know, nothing too insane, nothing too on market. He doesn't have like a lot of Baroque purples. He has a couple of them, of course. Um, he has some old school stickers in the storage unit here. Then he has some more candy apples. Yeah, just overall, really alternative investments, I guess. So definitely a safe inventory. This is a really, really safe inventory to sit on. You make a lot of money over time. But it's not really anything that I would say is really on market. You could probably improve your investments here um, by buying some of the more on market stuff, just kind of switching some of the stuff out. Like I think you have too many candy apples, you could probably uh, switch some of those out for Baroque purples. Um, the Negev Mjolners, I don't really think you need two of them. Um, the factory new one's fine. This one's just going to keep going up in price like crazy as more people do the Gungnir trade up. And then uh, for the Field Tested one, don't really think it's too necessary. Um, I think for the Field Tested one, you could probably. Maybe sell that and buy out some, I don't know, Emerald Drummond Gunders, for example. Kind of try to expand your investment inventory here. I think having two of these is kind of risky, um, if I'm being completely honest. But they're both really good as well. Um, he has a USP Pathfinder. Another thing you could do with this is buy a Wild Lily, the MP9, um, or the Mag7 Sinkinieda. Also very good. That would kind of help you to diversify a little bit. I think you are a little bit too, uh, I guess, eggs in one basket. I think you're still pretty diverse and you have a lot of good options here, uh, but I would say if I were to give you any advice, I would kind of try to diversify a little bit. I think you have too much money in one place. So as for look here, he went ahead and asked what are some easily tradable high tier items. I'm assuming for once he makes money off these investments, he wants to know some high tier items that are easily tradable. Um, in terms of that, I would say go with just a lot of the neo-noir stuff. People really like the neo-noir stuff. Uh, go with like an op Asimov. Those are very good as well for high tier items that are easily tradable. Um, you know, get those bayonets. People are really into bayonets, bayonet dopplers especially. Uh, I'm not bayonet dopplers. Those are all really nice high tier items that you can go ahead and get once you made a lot of money off this inventory. So yeah, thanks for the inventory. I would say this one is a solid 7.5 out of 10, uh, highest rating so far because he does have a very diverse inventory. He does have a little bit too much in one place, but that's just because he has so many skins. He has quite a lot of astral German genders here. 
and obviously they give Mjolnir Factory new. So this is inventory is really in a great position to make a lot of money going forward. So yeah, I, I think you can definitely even up to double your inventory value with uh, the spread of skins that you have here. It's really, really nice. Thank you for sharing your inventory look. All right, moving on to the next inventory here. This is going to be the last inventory for the video. This is Westpool. He did sponsor a giveaway a while back for my channel. So maybe you guys know him. He's in my Discord server as well. So let's go ahead and check out his inventory. He's got a very, very high tier inventory here. So he's got a few different knives here. It looks like just some low tier knives. He's got a Flame Jorman Gunder. Haven't seen any of these yet. He has a couple Baroque Purples. He has an M4 Poseidon Factory New. Wow, really nice one. Battle Scarred AK Fuel Injector. A couple Lap Asimovs, both Battle Scarred. Uh, that one's not a Black Amov. Uh, then he has a 5.7 Case Hardened. Let's go ahead and check this thing out here. Okay, so not a blue gem, but, you know, has a kind of a nice... Oh, it has a nice backside, but definitely not a not a, a full blue gem, I would say. But it does have a cool pattern. Does have a storage unit here that says all the good blank with one item on it. <laughs> so I think the word all there is a little bit incorrect in terms of grammar, but yeah. He has a Driver Glove Imperial Plaid Battle Scarred. He has a Bowie Knife Slaughter, field tested. He has a USB Orion Factory New, very good skin here. I'll talk about that in a second, but very nice one. He has a FAMAS Commemoration Well Worn, Driver Glove's Crimson Weave Battle Scarred, uh, Candy Apple, nice Candy Apple there. Cobalt Disruption and Lightning Strike, both very good skins here to have in terms of investing. Uh, he does have a Fire Serpent field tested. Nothing in particular that's too great about it. It does have a Headhunter foil and a Gold Web foil, though, which is kind of nice. He does have a Butterfly Knife Doppler Factory New. Very, very nice skin here. Uh, nothing in particular about the float. Just a normal float for that. Twilight Galaxy. Very nice one. Uh, he has a Stat Trek Aug Momentum Well Worn. He has some more storage units here that look to have quite a lot of items in them. Holy crap. So this looks like his uh, Berlin 2019 Major Investments, maybe. He has a Field Tested Galil Cerberus. He has a Vino Primo. This is a very underrated skin in terms of investing. I think it's a really solid one, uh, more solid than a lot of the options in the market right now because it's used for, you know, popular trade-ups, and it's also, you know, it just looks good in general. So I think it's a really solid skin to have. Actually kind of an interesting one that he has that. Then he has some Bloodsport skins and basically just some high-demand skins at the end of his inventory. So this page right here, just high-demand stuff, uh, general, you know, nice skins for different loadout slots, probably just to fill out his loadout in general. None of these are really going to be crazy good investments, but they're cool. Uh, this page here, he has the Fire Serpent, which I did mention earlier. Very good investment here. He has the Twilight Galaxy, you know, Chop Shop Collection. Good, you know, old collection that's, you know, not dropping anymore. Very solid skin. He does have the, you know, Primo, which I think is a really solid skin. Uh, he does have some more high tier, uh, high demand stuff here that's not really a great investment, but, you know, they're still cool to have. And then he has a Galil Cerberus, which, again, if they make a new cash collection going to be a really solid skin. Then he has a Butterfly Knife Doppler, which I think is a really, really solid it's a Butterfly Knife. It's a very high tier, you know, skin that people really like on it. Uh, the P4 as well, if you go ahead and look in game, the P4 on it looks very, very nice. This is a very, very good looking Butterfly Knife. Um, so yeah, just it's really, really solid. It's a really nice looking Butterfly Knife, so great job on him picking that out. Then he has a Factory New Orion really really great skin i think this is probably the year or maybe even next year very very close to where the orion's going to have just a crazy spike in price we're getting to that point where the orion is just you know it's it's not available in game via trade-ups or cases right now and for a long time it's been kind of steadily rising but hasn't been doing anything crazy i think we're going to see something interesting with the usb orion this year that's just kind of my guess uh, next up we have the bowie slaughter not bad at all Field tested, which kind of sucks. I would rather, you know, you kind of try to upgrade that if you can to something like minimal wear or factory new. But it does look nice. And then he has the gloves. And then he has the gloves. I don't really like gloves, but, you know, he has them at least. Next he has a Desert Eagle Cobalt Disruption Factory New. Very old skin. Very nice skin. A lot of people do like the uh, Cobalt Disruption as well. And there's usually ones with Caddos on them. His does not have Caddos on it, but it is a very nice Cobalt Disruption. Lightning Strike, one of the most solid investments you can possibly make right now. Candy Apple, of course, in the new collection. I think this guy has a lot of, you know, you know, he, he hasn't put a whole lot into the new collection, but he does have some very solid skins that are going to rise over time. He does have the Factory New Poseidon as well, uh, which is a very, very good skin from the Gods and Monsters collection. Um, honestly, people don't really like the Poseidon, I've heard, but I think this one is overall a very good skin to have in terms of investing. So overall, on Westpool's inventory, I would say he has a lot of really good options here. I could say that he probably should turn some of these knives maybe into a bigger investment in the new operation. I think you will 
you know, regret not investing more in the new operation in the future West Bull. Uh, but I do think that you do have a decent amount already put into it with the Flame Drumming Gunder and these Rogue Purples and the Candy Apple. And as for the other skins in this inventory that I really like, of course, the Lightning Strike, the Cobalt Disruption, the Orion, and then, you know, the Fire Serpent as well. Very, very nice one there. And then the Butterfly Knife, always going to be very good, especially a P4 Doppler. And then the Vino Primo as well, very underrated and nice skin. And the Twilight Galaxy, of course, Chop Shop Collection, very good skin to have in terms of having a pink. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and go ahead and check out my Twitter and Discord server. I do appreciate all the support I've been getting recently. That's really, really great to see. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed my content. I'll be seeing you all next time. Peace.